our costumes help us take that journey from dark, brooding, reluctant hero into someone who's going to become the king. So by the end, he's wearing armor that came from the kingdom of Atlantis. So it needs to be majestic and needs to be strong. And you know, he also has to like it. The first costume is pretty terrifying. It just basically looked like I was in spandex with gold and bright green. I haven't tried on my next one yet. So excited to put that on. A lot of our job is getting it to a point where it's got enough of Jason in it and enough of Aquaman, the comic book hero in it. You know, Kim's great. She's like, rest assured, it'll be good. So I'm really excited to see when the next interview, what it looks like, and then the next one, what it looks like. Super complicated suit because he's in so much water action. And we needed something that would instantly wick, but was flexible enough. The problem with gold or metallic paints is on a flexible surface, the paint itself is kind of a metal. So as it moves, it wants to crinkle and wrinkle. And we tried probably 15 different variations of paints. We ended up developing a paint that was almost like a weatherproofing sealant that we reformulated to work with the rubber. It's one of those rad moments, just him putting on the suit for the first time and walking through, and you're like, awesome. When I put it on, I think my kids were really close by, and I wanted them to see it. And, you know, it's the big, wide-eyed mouth gaping, and it just makes me smile. So, yeah, it's cool to be dad who's dressed up like that. Yeah.